Combat Training. Today we're going to be doing some overhaul drills. We have an acquired house um, and we're going to talk about some techniques to open up a lath and plaster style wall, which is what we're doing with in this home. This particular house is uh, over 100 years old and this kind of represents the majority of our rural uh, setups that we have and even some of our older homes in our urban cities. So in this particular setup that we have, we opened up this wall for a possible extension. Like I said, this is a balloon frame house and the most important thing balloon frame is there's no fire stops. It's literally open from the basement all the way to the, to the attic space. So you can see down here where we opened up to the floor, there's a nice void area where we possibly have some fire travel. In my opinion, it is the most important thing in any fire that we have to open up what we think is important. We have to open up the entire space to make sure we put that fire out. You don't want to take any chances in an old style home like this because if we don't put the fire out completely, we're going to come back for a rekindle and we didn't do our job. So as you guys saw downstairs, we had a fire, a simulated fire on, on that one wall and the fire had traveled up because it's a balloon frame, a constructed house. So we got to make sure we're opening all the, the voidable spaces. So we're in the bedroom that we think the fire may have traveled up using the fire mall. I'm going to open this wall up. I'm going to show you a little bit of a technique, something that I like to do. I'm going to use the blade end of the, the fire mole. I'm going to dance across this, cutting it until I find a stud and a stud as my reference points. There's a stud. And there's a stud. So now I can batter ram this. Close my lath, and now I'm going to start cutting it. Now I got a good enough inspection hole to make sure there is any fire or anything like that in there. And now I'm going to drop my head end of my tool, drop my inspection well, and I'm going to pry it down. With lath and plaster, this is a great technique. It's going to reduce our work effort inside of the, the house. You're going to see how much of the wall comes down just by one fry. In the last little clip, we showed how to pry down to open up our space with a lath and plaster wall. You can do the same thing by prying up. take my tool and I move up and now I'm just going to pry towards myself. Now keep in mind, you can run a really good chance to have stuff coming at you, so make sure you got your gear on, your PPE on. And now you're making quick work and not wearing yourself out.